I'm Dave Hearn, and uh, welcome to the office of Kissimmee Park Observatory, which is going to be the home of this brand new 12-inch truss tube Ritchie Cradian telescope from, uh, ordered from Orion Telescope Center. So uh, I opened it up briefly to look at it and went, ooh, and all that. But uh, now we're going to go ahead and have a look at it. As you see, it's a very large box. It's 24 by 24 by 43 and uh, weighs about 75 pounds. So if you order this uh, monster, you'll definitely have to have the hand truck as you saw me bring it into the observatory. So anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. I had already cut open the box and it comes with an interior box. And it's a good thing because they got oil. Somebody got some kind of oil all over the outside of this thing. So I was a little concerned when I saw that, but it did not reach into the inside. Okay, there it is. As you can see, it came with some styrofoam to hold it and a few accessories that I'm sure everyone has seen before. These are extension tubes. Yeah, so an extension, large extension tube, another extension tube. I guess they're both two inch extension tubes. 
and then put them off to the side right here. And the silly little battery uh, uh, battery holder that makes the fans work in the back, I'll definitely be using a direct 12 volt DC connection, so I won't be using this device. So let's proceed and take out this styrofoam. We don't need it. The styrofoam got beat up and cracked a little bit. Hopefully it won't be a problem. It doesn't appear to be. At least I don't think so. Okay. Another piece right there. There is the monster in plastic. You notice that some of the plastic is torn a little bit. Hopefully it won't be a problem. Okay, so let's try to take this guy out of here. It's heavy. Yeah, it's definitely very heavy. There it is. Now let's go ahead and take some of this plastic off. bump on the way. Doesn't look bad though so far. And there we go. Alright. Make sure it's sitting safely here. Alright. Looks pretty good. All right, we've got this uh, got this guy out of the box, and here it is, the, the Orion RC12 truss tube scope. And uh, looks like it arrived unscathed for the most part. I don't see any real problems. And uh, this this uh, primary cover was uh, was loose, but, uh, but there's the there's the primary. It's a little bit got a little bit of styrofoam dust all over it. But uh, looks like it's in good shape otherwise. And then got the secondary. This is definitely a beast. Ah. There's the secondary mirror. I don't know whether you can see it, but uh, it also looks just fine. Huge baffle on the thing. And looking at this end, so this is the stock focuser, and uh, I'm hoping it's going to work okay. I'm going to use it with a uh, ZWO electronic uh, automatic focuser, um, so hopefully it will work pretty good. I've heard some people talk about that it, uh, it can be kind of loose, but I set up the tension. It seems like it's pretty good. So here's the focuser, and uh, yeah, the, the course and the fine. Seems like it works all pretty good. I don't have a whole lot of gear to put on it, just uh, just uh, CCD and and uh, filter wheel and such, so should be good. So the scope has two Lost Mandy D dovetail mounts on the top and on the bottom. Uh, this is going to be going on a iOptron CEM120 mount. Uh, that uh, that's going to be the next purchase. <laughs> but we got to uh, pay for this sucker first. I'm hoping that's not going to be too long. And on top of the Ritchie, I'm going to be putting a Ryan 120mm F5 refractor. It's not an APO, but uh, I'm just going to be using it for guiding purposes, so that should be quite sufficient. So now I have a very pretty 12-inch Ritchie Cradian uh, um, astrograph that, uh, that I'm going to be using for astrophotography in the near future. 
The shipping was pretty good. It only took about six days. There was a uh, couple delays, but um, it wasn't, and certainly wasn't an unreasonable period like I've experienced uh, in the past with some of the stuff that I've bought, like my ZWO stuff, my CCD and things, it took like six months to arrive. So I'm very happy to get this only in about a week or so. So I was very interested in getting this because uh, Guansheng Optical, which is the maker of, uh, of these units, is in Taiwan. And with all the craziness going on between Taiwan and China lately, I figured, well, it's a good idea. I need to get this thing in house. So I moved forward with it last week. So thank you very much for watching this unboxing video. I'm hoping that uh, it helped those of you that were looking to, uh, to get this fairly large instrument in this rather large box. <laughs> so if this video was useful to you, I appreciate uh, if you click the thumbs up and uh, definitely subscribe to the channel because uh, I'm thinking about, now that I have this wonderful unit, uh, I'm thinking about maybe starting an astrophotography channel again, kind of on the heels of star hopping that I used to do. So clear skies, and I'll see you soon.